everyone, Lucas Aurelius from Aussie Gamers Express here and today I am looking at Worms. And not just any old Worms, the award winning veteran games developer and international games label Team 17 have released Worms WMD All Stars and it comes with a blockbuster lineup of guest stars from hit games such as Rocket League, Payday 2 and Goat Simulator. Worms WMD is available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC. Worms games have been around for a long time now. Actually, the first version was released on the world back in 1995 and all my school friends and I enjoyed making terrible jokes about who had worms. I've only recently became a Worms player since the release of Worms Revolution on PC even though it's been around for a long time. If you're in the dark like I was a little while ago, Worms is a turn-based strategy game where you take turns in shooting ridiculous weapons at each other on a randomly generated battlefield until there is only one team of Worms left standing. In the past, there have been the staple weapons such as the bazooka, Fire! the hand grenade, Oh, shooter! Sheep uh, bomb! Oh, 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 and the loved holy hand Stay grenade. I am pleased to say that all of your favourites through the years are all available in Worms WMD, but this time they've managed to make them even better. Worms WMD boasts 30 single player campaign levels which will start off with holding your hand and will feel like taking candy from a baby worm. The levels, however, will gradually increase in difficulty and start to kick your ass. In the past, we've had all sorts of bizarre weapons to dish out the damage. But never before have we seen vehicles or mounts. Worms WMD introduces drivable mechs, attack helicopters, tanks and cars into the mix. This brings a nice addition to the game, but somehow they've managed to keep them from being overpowered. Worms can dish out decent damage from these machines, but they can be tricky to use. If you finish your turn while inside a mech or tank, you will receive some cover from artillery, but there is also a risk that the vehicle may explode, which can compound the damage that you take. This offers a risk-reward situation. On, no, not me, right? <laughs> oh. It must also be known that even though you're somewhat protected from overhead artillery fire, you can still be ripped out of any vehicle by a worm that is on foot, so to speak, Grand Theft Auto style. The vehicles are a super fun addition to the game and they work quite well, except for that weird Rocket League car. That's hard to maneuver sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to go through the all-stars element that has been brought to the Worms world with a collaboration with big name games. The video game references within Worms is massive and the tie-ins add good fun to the gaming experience. Here's a list of some of the coolest stuff that you will find but there are more in addition to this. First up there's Rocket League. You can take the wheel of the Rocket League car. It's hard to manoeuvre, but if you're in the right spot, you can use it to jump large distances to get away from that holy hand grenade or that massive stick of dynamite that you nah, just let go. Nah, can you make me scare so I can do the damage on you? I don't mind if I leave this here. My oh. whole <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> then there's Goat Simulator. Use the goat on a rope weapon to strike fear into the hearts of your enemies as the goat swings around using its sticky tongue. 
It's a neat little gag, but it's pretty damn hard to actually use in-game. Then we've got Payday 2, and it's Payday for the worms. You can dress your worms in the masks that have become iconic for millions of Payday 2 fans around the world. This one is purely cosmetic, but those masks do look pretty cool. Then we've got Saints Row 4. Now, Saints Row 4 is one of the most outrageous, over-the-top, action-packed franchises known to video games. So it only makes sense that a piece of it should arrive in Worms WMD. The dubstep gun from Saints Row 4 makes an appearance as a mounted turret that can be found randomly within levels. This baby can inflict massive damage whilst making everyone on the battlefield dance. That was cool, eh? Next up, there's Broforce. And Broforce makes an appearance in the game with the addition of the Turkey Bomb. Up, the count. Turkey Bomb is a craftable weapon that brings the pain several times over. On top of this is the Liberty Strike, and this is a Broforce flavoured airstrike which will rain down a fiery hell from the skies. Yo, bro! The next up is Orcs Must Die Unchained, and Orcs Must Die makes an appearance by giving us the ability to dress our worms like the Orcs in Orcs Must Die. There's a three mask set, and you can also craft an Orcs Minion weapon, which is weird and satisfying at the same time. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Worms WMD has introduced a simplified crafting system which allows you to collect materials on the battlefield to craft new weapons or stronger versions of the weapons you already have. You can dismantle your current weapons to gather the materials you need to make bigger and better explosions. The balancing here has been thoughtful towards not making this too overpowered by limiting each player to making one action per move. For example, you can dismantle any item, but you will have to wait one turn before you can craft or dismantle another weapon. Further to this, if you select a weapon to craft, you will have to wait one turn before it's ready to go. This feature gives further ability to make a complete mess of the battlegrounds and is guaranteed to make us all piss ourselves laughing at the outlandish creations that are possible thanks to this crafting system. The controls are simple enough and are brought forward from recent Worms games, so those that are familiar with the Worms games of the past shouldn't have too much issue getting used to the layout. That is, unless you're me and you have trouble tying shoelaces, Velcro is the way. You can amend the control scheme if you wish to a more modern setup which really only changes the jump and fire buttons around. The levels are still randomly generated, but this time around they are presented in a bright, colourful palette with hand-drawn assets. This gives each level a more detailed appearance and it absolutely looks wonderful when under fire. The animations have also been tweaked from previous games which makes them look a lot smoother without losing that worms feel to them. There isn't much that can go wrong with a Worms game when they stick this close to an award-winning formula, but there is still some things that just haven't been fixed as yet. The camera just never feels like it's moving where it should, as soon as it should. The camera will automatically pan across events of importance, but it just doesn't get it right all of the time. This leaves you having to move the camera yourself, which only causes more grief due to the hard-to-use camera controls. The auto pen never uses the zoom in or zoom out ability, which often led to me missing some of the action that occurred off screen. This was only an issue on occasion for me, but it was one of the more frustrating points of the game. Worms WMD has been a satisfying addition to the Worms series. 
This series update looks better than the previous games, which is something that is well appreciated, but it also provides a lot more in the fun factor with the new vehicles and mechs. On top of all that, the massive addition to other video game references is priceless. Worms WMD All-Stars is available now on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC and should be well worth the purchase for anyone that has enjoyed the previous games in the series. Thank you to everyone for checking out our review of Worms WMD All-Stars. If you like what you've seen here, then please subscribe to the Aussie Games Express YouTube channel and check out our other reviews and gameplay videos. Don't forget also to check us out on Facebook and all other social media outlets. And also we have our weekly podcast, which is available on iTunes, Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. As always, I am Lucas Aurelius from Aussie Gamers Express and until next time, see ya! Oh, that's awesome. Holy f hey, Every single way. Let me get that was one almighty smack. I doubt you'll be making a comeback. That's cool.